How do I feel about my game? What a question. Honestly, I'm uh, so far really optimistic, surprisingly. Uh, we started out the year really, really slow because um, Pierce was living in Las Vegas and he was kind of far away for online practice. So the very beginning of the game's drop, uh, scrims weren't going too well. I wasn't really worried about it because again, we knew he was moving, so it wasn't like a, a permanent thing. And like he moved and our scrims have been some of the best practice that I've had in the last like two years. Um, you know, last year obviously uh, didn't go according to plan. Final few lives and that is gonna be it. It is the end of the road for Seattle Surge. But I said it in a uh, in a YouTube video I uploaded I think the other day, but like our, I've seen more improvement in the last like two weeks than I did all of last year with our team. So having that ability to to improve on a daily basis is very nice. Looney waiting. Looney the angle. Looney the 1v5. What is that? And the veteran says, <laughs> I'll see you, son. I actually really enjoy teaming with Danny. I've, I've always called him one of the most underrated players in competitive COD. Um, he just has a really good mind for the game and he's very good at facilitating his thoughts and ideas about like a system for a team. And that's a really underappreciated quality that not many players have. I really don't have that quality myself. So having someone on the team that does and that how he can facilitate ideas about playing the game, uh, it makes things a lot easier because I don't have to worry about doing it. I think he's a little bit nicer now. People used to, his nickname back then was Dagger Dan because uh, he, he was kind of mean. I mean, maybe it was just because I was like a, a young, easily impressionable teenager when I when I teamed with him before. But I don't know. He he's uh he seems he seems a little bit nicer now, thankfully. He was kind of mean back then. Driveway Looney though, aggressive as always, is able to find the first. Might have the help for the second kill. Doesn't even need it. Gets him himself. Diamond Con! Him and uh, him and Pierce go back and forth in scrims, but it's in a productive way. It's not really um, the usual uh, stereotype that people hold Pierce accountable for. It, it gets really funny sometimes, and it's not like to be expected really, because our team doesn't seem like it would be um, the, the vibe ish if we're gonna call it that. But uh, scrims are absolutely hysterical. He got the kill, are you kidding me? What a play from Gunless. I've had fun playing with Pierce. He's obviously a, a phenomenal talent. Scrims are very interesting, man. Like he gets on some days um, and it's, it's, it's just, you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but you're, it's hilarious nonetheless. Danny really doesn't take his shit at all. Like if he gets on in a bad mood, like he's not calling out or, you know, he, he he couldn't sleep the night before, or, you know, whatever it was, like he'll get on. And if he if he lets out like one call out, Danny's like, yo, you gotta get your shit. And then it's just, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. But it's funny. It's it, me and Preston just, just kick back and, and laugh and, and have a good time. But playing with Pierce is, um, it's an experience. That's, that's pretty much how I can sum it up. Alex, Shawnee and Co now making their way forward, looking to find a few more, but Gunless absolutely rips his way through the three of them. Welcome back to the Codly, Gunless. He'll be coming to assist, he's not missing. Prestini, stop it! The man is on a rampage. Uh, he has like the, he has a, a Mamba mentality. Um, he, Last year, I think he was super underappreciated. I think he's been underappreciated his whole career, really, because he's been that role player that like go in first and die or get a two piece kind of player. And this year, I think he's really starting to come into his own. Um, you know, this is a team that we set up for him to do whatever he wants, essentially. Um, you know, we have Danny to command the map and, and make the right play. And then Preston kind of just does what he wants to do. And he's been flourishing in scrims. He's been playing super well. Um, it's really nice to see because it's like he's obviously a, a pretty emotional player, as everyone is, has come to know. His confidence when he plays is, it's, it's pretty good. Finds the first, Assault's in trouble, Pristini looking dangerous, such aggression right now. Long-term goals are obviously winning. I think that every single player on, on my team right now has a chip on their shoulder, myself included. I've been getting a lot of sh over the last couple of months. Uh, so getting a dub would, would be nice. I think that people for whatever reason just have started to write our team off, off the, off the rip. Fans just seem to, to not think that I'm good anymore and it hurts my feelings. But yeah, long long term I'm I'm expecting championships.